come one, come all, come all. So let's ease on into it, Allison. Cycle 10, America's Next Top Model, the show is celebrating its 10th cycle. It's a huge cycle. It's already a household phenomenon. Top Model is probably in its peak right now, like in this moment. Like Top Model is a thing, full-fledged thing. What made you audition for the show? Well, I remember watching the OGs, right? Like Adrian Curry and my favorite was Elise Sewell. And she later became my roommate, like ironically, very, very long after the show for a very brief of time when I was- Elise was house. her roommate? Yeah, this was Elise Sewell. And it was such a, it was just such a small world because I was, she was one of my favorite original ones from the first cycle. And um, I want to say it was 2008 or yeah, um, 2008 where, um, we became roommates in Shanghai, which was so weird. Cause I'm like looking at, I, it, yeah, it was like being in the twilight zone. So obviously I didn't want to, cause I knew it was like for every former a and contestant, what we get so annoyed with hearing is when people are always asking the same generic questions, like is Tyra nice? or blah, blah, blah. So I did not even acknowledge that I knew who she was. And I didn't think she knew who I was because obviously my time on the show was short lived. And a lot of us who have already been through that machine of ANTM, um, we don't really want to watch the show or I, I can't speak for everybody. At least I didn't want to watch the show after my time was over. And if I'm really being honest, I didn't really want to watch any reality TV after my time was over, after I saw, um, how it's all construed and how it's all developed. But anyways, back to Elise. Yeah, it was just really funny when I saw her. I mean, it was a very short-lived like roommate stint that um, kind of overlapped with our contracts in Shanghai. But yeah, it was pretty crazy. And just, I, just realizing what a small world it really is. I mean, and we're realizing what, what a small world it is right now. <laughs> Who would have ever thought that Allison from Cycle 10 was roommates with Elise from Cycle 1? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I want to park the car right here for a couple seconds. How was it living with Elise? She was very witty, very smart, and you can definitely tell she was someone who, uh, if modeling like was just never in the cards with her, which it clearly was because she became pretty famous, if I'm really being honest, in Hong Kong. Because when I was in China, Hong Kong, like, doing my whole stint there, like it was all about Elise. Like She was just killing it there, and I think she was there a little bit for a few years before I was there. Um, but yeah, she was she was a big star in uh, Hong Kong, China, that whole domain um, of the world. So she was very witty and very, um, she kind of kept to herself. I mean, at the time she was 27 and I was 19 and we lived with a couple other girls who were like 19 or 20. So I think she kind of felt like, you know, these, these are just kids. I want to go off and do my own thing, you know. Um, well, we ran around and partied and went to clubs, if I'm really being honest. But yeah, um, so there was a little bit of an age gap there. So I think that kind of um, created a little distance. But, you know, she was friendly and, um, you know, I kind of revealed to her. I'm like, OK, well, we have something in common. And yeah, but I, she was just someone who really did not like want to emphasize too much on what happened on the show and honestly neither did I so it was just like routine everyday stuff um that we were talking about it wasn't most of our conversations had had nothing to do with ANTM but it was cool um meeting her she was like one of the original ones that I really liked um and then kind of after that I don't know why I liked the really old um ANTM cycles like watching Ioana like the cycle one cycle two cycle three with um what's her name Naima um I don't know there was just a certain authenticity about the first couple of cycles that I um really liked and maybe it's just the nostalgia in me and kind of like taking me back to my high school years that um I think of when I think of like the very early cycles but I think as time kind of went on and like there were just later cycles and then there was like cycle 17 or I don't even know how many cycles there were. I just think that yeah. it kind of, it kind of started out like they would do these photo shoots where it would um, like, you would be asked to do it as a model in real life, like these types of photo shoots. And then they just kept getting stranger and weirder. And then I kept thinking to myself and like later on, I'm like, 
would an agency really make a girl do that? Or would a photographer really make a girl do that? Or do they really care that about that much? Like, who are you really in real life? Because most photographers I've worked with, all they really care about is getting that one decent shot. And then like, they're done. You, they want you to move on to the next look. But um, it just kind of became more about like the showmanship and selling a reality TV show. Or just maybe they were just trying to come up with fresh ideas and they just didn't want to regurgitate old ones or original ones. So I don't know. I mean, it's just as time went on, I just kind of lost interest in the show. But yeah, the original ones, like like a one, two, three, were probably my favorite to watch. Definitely. I would agree. The earlier cycles are really, really good. I think one through six is, is like mm -hmm. top model at its core. And then I think seven is when it started getting a little, a little interesting. A, a little bit more interesting. Do you still talk to Elise? No, no, I don't. I mean, there's a couple girls that maybe will comment each other here and there, like on Instagram, some on our posts or whatever. But I don't think I've consistent. I mean, it's been 15 years ago, and I feel like everyone's diverged so much, just kind of being on their own path. So, no, I mean, life just kind of went on from there. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's it's a fun memory, I guess, to look back on. Come one, come all, 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 come all,